Hi, I'm Lone Candle. Too much demand relative to supply and too much money in the system can cause inflation. One classic way to reduce both is to tax. Taxes take money out of the system, which means there is less money going after goods, lowering demand. However, taxing lower and middle class people who are already dealing with rising prices can be a real burden. It would be less of a burden for the wealthy who have plenty of money for both necessities and luxuries. However, is taxing the wealthy effective for fighting inflation? Taxing the wealthy can help fight inflation, but its effectiveness is limited for two reasons. One, compared to taxing everyone, it doesn't take as much money out of the system. And two, the lower and middle classes are more likely to reduce spending as a direct result of higher taxes, while the wealthy are relatively more likely to reduce investments. Because the wealthy have such ample money, they can lose a fair amount of it and maintain their spending if they are willing to lower their rate of investment. This means compared to lower classes, more of the wealthy won't reduce their spending and therefore taxes on them will have relatively less effect on inflation. That said, some of them will reduce spending as a result of taxes. So taxing the wealthy does help fight inflation somewhat. When the wealthy spend less, that is less demand on those goods and less business for the businesses producing those goods and less pay for workers of those businesses. Those businesses and workers then spend less, reducing demand for all the goods and services that they utilize. While this has obvious downsides, this less spending reduces demand and inflation. However, taxes on the wealthy only reduce inflation if the government doesn't spend it in inflationary ways. Taxing the wealthy and spending it in an inflationary manner could even increase inflation. If the government takes money from wealthy people who invest a fair proportion of it, then spends it in ways that increase immediate demand, like giving it to lower class people in the form of cash, then that may increase inflation more than if government did nothing. If the government instead uses the money to lower the deficit or to invest in things that increase supply, or spend it slowly over a long period of time, then taxing the wealthy helps fight inflation. Spending money to lower the deficit means the tax took the money out of the economy. Investing in things that increase production helps increase supply, which can lower inflation. Spending slowly, like in projects that take planning and time to complete, means only a portion of the taxed money is put back into the economy during the inflation period, so the combined taxing and spending may reduce inflation. Is taxing the wealthy a good way to fight inflation? There is no good way to fight inflation. Raising interest rates may cause recession, deeply hurting people who become unemployed. Taxing everyone puts great burden on those already struggling with inflation. Taxing everyone and taxing the wealthy can weaken the economy, causing unemployment. Lowering government spending would hurt who and whatever was receiving that funding, as well as eliminate whatever greater benefit this spending was producing. Although if there is truly wasteful spending, fighting inflation would be a good impetus to lower government spending. Given that all the options suck, Taxing the wealthy can be a helpful tool in fighting inflation, but only if done smartly. Another downside to taxing and spending to fight inflation is policy lag. If we have inflation now, then we need Congress and the President to act immediately to start changing demand. But if there is much debate before the political bodies can agree on a plan, then this will delay the impact on the economy. The policy will also take time to implement and for the taxes to actually remove money from the economy. The help could come too late, or just later than ideal. However, if the political bodies can get their acts together 
and act quickly, taxing can plausibly help in a short enough time. Another possibility is automatic stabilizers, which are policies put into law before inflation happens. So when it does, taxes are implemented automatically based on the inflation level. The government must use the taxed money to lower the deficit, increase supply, or invest in long-term projects. If this is not how the government will use the money, then Congress and the President should just rely on the Fed to fight inflation with interest rates. If the government uses the money in non-inflationary ways, then taxing the wealthy can help lower inflation. Well, I'm Lone Candle. Lock me. Call me. Love me. And if you love me enough, you can demand I don't talk like this ever again. Or you could demand I do an entire video in this accent. I don't even know what this accent is. Some sort of southern accent, but I don't really know. But hey, if you love me enough, I'll do whatever you tell me to do. Really? Really? Uh, uh, yeah.